welcome back to the vlog. Today is Friday. It is June the 7th. It's dinner time. I'm getting ready to stick a casserole in the oven real quick. We actually made two of these last night. We made two cheeseburger casseroles and one was plenty. Um, Kylie actually didn't eat dinner with us last night. She was not here. So we had more than plenty. So I'm going to heat this up again tonight. And that's what we're going to have for dinner. I'm going to cut up some lettuce on the side. I'm going to have some salads. I've got some croutons and grapes. So we'll do some salad stuff with it. The kids have been just like enjoying outside today. They've played in the water, played in the pool, did different things. I went out on the porch a few minutes ago. I'll have to show that to you in a minute. Um, my plants that I got about, about seven or eight weeks ago, it was right before Jackson was born. Um, I put them on my front porch. I've showed them to y'all. But there's one that has like this sweet potato vine. And it is so beautiful y'all it has grew so much it is like two or three feet long now so i trimmed a little bit off of that put it in some water out in the sun i'm gonna let that take root and once it does i'm gonna put it in the ground i'm gonna grow them out of the ground because they're just they're absolutely gorgeous but i'll try to show that to y'all here in a minute and somebody's hanging out at mama's feet and eating some pretzels millie can you say hello hey hey can you look over here she's looking at a reflection in the oven can you say hey to everybody play in the water play in the water did you have fun Probably tired now. From the back side of the camera now, I'll stick this in the oven. There we go. Oh, that's heavy. All done. All right, so there's a little bit of cheeseburger casserole left in there. Uh, if somebody wants to come back to that, they can. Not all of the kids wanted it tonight. They, since we had it last night, um, some of them wanted other things. So we kind of had what you want kind of night, but we also had this casserole for anybody that wanted it. So anyway, we've got some of that left over. I'm going to get some cleaning done because tomorrow is actually Kylie's um, graduation party. So she graduated May 17th, but we planned her party for June 8th just because I knew I would have a newborn. Um, so I'm going to get some cleaning done for that and then continue the cleaning on into the morning time. The kids are outside now, but before they went out, they got out all their Legos. They were over there building Legos. So they're gonna come back into that. It's Friday night, so they get to stay up later. They're gonna come back into that and play for a little bit, watch a movie, and then it'll be bedtime. <laughs> Yeah, so it is now Sunday morning. I just finished up getting ready for church. We're gonna leave here soon. I did not vlog any yesterday. Yesterday was Kylie's graduation party, um, and it was just a busy day. We had lots of friends and family that came over, and we just had fun hanging out together. We actually had her food catered in. I've never had food catered in for any kind of event, but I was like, you know what? It's her graduation party. We're gonna have some food catered in. So we did that. Um, and it was supposed to be here at 1.30 yesterday. It did not get here until after three. I called the lady a little bit after two and I was telling, asked, you know, just asked her if she was close by. Um, and she said, let me call them real quick. They should be there by now. And they actually had their times wrong. So instead of being there at 1.30, they had put down between five and six. So it was like a big misunderstanding. She didn't mean to do that. And she kept apologizing, which was fine. I didn't mind. Mistakes happened. So anyway, we still got to eat. It was a little bit, I think around 3.30 when they got there with the food so we ate and we just we hung out yesterday in fellowship and it was nice but now we are getting ready to leave for church this morning i wanted to show you a couple of things though while i'm in the bathroom um just finish up getting ready because i get lots of comments on some of these kind of things so the first thing is people want to know what i use to make my hair wavy like this when i crimp it i have two different ways i have this way and then i have like my lazy way <laughs> where it's like super simple and that's what I'm going to do most of the time this summer because it, it keeps me from having to blow dry my hair while I do it the lazy way um, and keeps me from straightening it and all that stuff. But first, the way I've got it this morning with it crimped like this, I just use one of these things. I think I'm stuck in the door. Um, it's like the three, what are these things called? I don't know, like the three wand, the three barrel. See what I'm talking about there? I'm using that. And it doesn't even have a name brand on it because this was given to us by a lady in our church and we've just been using it, the girls and I use it. Um, so anyway, that's what I use to get these kind of waves. It's just one of these and you get these at like Walmart, Ulta, Target, pretty much anywhere and they're very inexpensive. So I have that and then, um, let me show you the other one. And then if I just don't feel like doing anything with my hair, I literally wash it while it's wet. I take some gel, which is, the, this is just the Tresemme Extra Hold Gel and I put it in my hair and kind of 
scrunch it like that a little bit all the way around. I probably should put some hairspray in after I do that, but I've just literally been doing this. So when I had the question the last time, this is what I had my hair. This will probably be my summer hair a lot this summer is just leaving it wet and put some gel in it to scrunch it a little bit for the day. And that's it. So that's what I've been using. The third thing I want to show y'all is, I've showed y'all this before, but my favorite, favorite hairbrush. Um, we are still loving these things. We've been using them for, what, two months now, maybe a little bit longer. They are Tangles Be Gone hairbrushes. Best hairbrushes, hands down. I promise you, you will not regret purchasing, purchasing one of these. Especially if you have little girls or you just need one for your hair. We, the girls and I all use them. Um, even my older girls, one of them requested for their very own hairbrush. So I ordered her her own. We've got two in white. We've got one in black. And I just saw that they had pink back in stock. I would love to have a pink one too. Um, the last time I checked, the pink were back in stock. And you can actually get these very inexpensive with my coupon code, which is Shasta20. You can get 20% off your hairbrush at Tinkles Be Gone, which I'll link all that down below so you don't have to try to remember. You just click on that link. When you pick out your hairbrushes, put in the code Shasta20 when you check out, and they get 20% off. And with that 20%, it comes out to be like a $13 hairbrush, which is not bad for a hairbrush like this because I can brush the kids' hair, and honestly, it does not pull their tangles, and they don't cry and whine like they do with, you know, the regular hairbrushes, which I know these are so much cheaper, but if you want to have a good hairbrush without all the tears, purchase one of these Tangles Be Gone hairbrushes. Trust me, you'll love it. Say good morning. Good morning. You ready for church, pretty girl? Mm -hmm. She's all ready to go, but I noticed something you have on Everly's shoes. Can you give Everly her shoes and put yours on? You can't find your shoes? Well, you just had them on. Let's go find them. Holly has been hanging out with Jackson for me while I was getting ready. He looks so handsome this morning in his little church outfit. He's got on his little button-up shirt and pants. Look, he's so cute. He fell asleep with Holly. Yeah. Look at his hand. One sweet little hand. <laughs> and now they're playing Legos before we go. They've been loving some Legos here lately. I just popped this lasagna, this huge lasagna in the oven for lunch. That is left over from when we had food catered for Kylie's party Saturday. I stuck it in the fridge. We're gonna eat that today. But I want to show y'all a couple of things today. One is my homeschool planner for this upcoming homeschool year just came in the mail. Like it just came in. Haven't even opened the package yet. I will talk more about that in just a minute and show y'all the planner I chose for next year. But first, I wanna show you something else real quick. This isn't what I'm coming out to show you, but we are still in the process of getting our back porch closed in to make it a homeschool room. If you missed that vlog, I think it was on last week's vlog. I'll link it down below, you can check it out. We are in the process of turning our back porch into a closed in homeschool room. Um, tomorrow, we actually have some guys coming out to go ahead and put the walls up, get the windows in. So that's gonna be nice to have that done because it's been sitting like this for a couple of weeks now. But anyway, that's not what I want to show you. I want to show you out here. Um, I have some sweet potato vine that was growing in my flowers out on the front porch. So I clipped a little piece off. I stuck it out in this bowl of water. This is like the sunniest part of the back porch and put it in there and I came to check it today. I did this on Friday or Saturday, but look, it's Monday now and it's taken root already in several different places so i'm going to plant this somewhere in the yard and let it grow these are just so pretty they just grow so long and so beautiful so i'm going to plant that somewhere in the yard probably today or tomorrow i'm not sure where i want to put it yet um, and just see how it looks growing out in the yard like that so here is the homeschool planner that i chose this is the first year that i've ever went with this planner but i've heard so many good things about it i love the layout of it i look through it 
online before I ordered it. It's called the Well Ordered Homeschool Planner. Isn't it just beautiful too? I love this cover this year. Um, so it's the 2024-2025. I do not even know every little thing in here yet because I'm just now getting my hands on it. But it has a place in here for loop schedule, yearly overview, curriculum plan. So most importantly, I kind of want to see the month at a glance and the scheduling pages. So when you turn to you turn to July, it has a July overview for scripture, brain dump, to-do list, purchase list, top three goals, character focus for July, and then here is the month at a glance, and here are the monthly planning pages. I really like this layout a lot. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you could do seven children, um, which I will be homeschooling seven this coming year. Or you could put subjects there, whatever you want to do. But I think I'm going to put children there, more than likely. But yeah, that is the homeschool planner that I'm going with for the 2024-2025 homeschool planner for next year. Um, I got something a little bit wet there on the counter from it. But anyway, just wanted to show you all that. But Holly's going to do some art from Art for Kids on Hub. Website. It's on YouTube. We've been right doing this for years, y'all. Like since my older yeah. girls were little, yeah. it's so awesome for learning to draw kids to draw with colors. So she's getting started on her project. But that's going to be it for today's vlog. I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below before you leave today and give this video a thumbs up. And we will talk to you in the comments. Bye, friends.